Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek and Ash. Today we are going to discuss our thoughts and opinions upon the all new CBS television series by the name of Hostages. Uh, it stars actors such as Dylan McDermott and Tony Collette. We are going to talk about the first pilot episode. Just so you guys know, Hostages is, is uh, created by the, uh, by the television creator and writer by the name of David E. Kelly. He's created many other television series in his career such as uh, L.A. Law, Boston Legal, uh, The Practice. He's done uh, many other stuff. He's, and he also wrote uh, Lake Placid back in the year 99 or 2000, I believe. And then recently he did TNT's Monday Mornings. Anyways, the basic plot of CBS's uh, television series, The Name of Hostages, is we have Dylan McDermott's character, and he's an FBI guy, but he's also a terrorist. And he comes in and he threatens this Tony Collette's, he thre threatens Tony Collette's family and says, she's a doctor for the president, and says, if you do not operate on the president, if you don't give him this kill drug, then I'm going to kill your entire family. And that's pretty much the main just of the series, and that's kind of what the entire first season is going to be about. So, Ashley, what did you, I'll have you go first. What did you think of the pilot of CBS's Hostages? Well, um, I'm tell that I'm just going to, you know, just really love Hostages. I mean, I already really like it. Uh -huh. It's really good. Um, I love Dylan McDermott. He's great. He was great, and he was good. I love Dylan McDermott Horror Story, and I know that I'm going to love him in this. Yeah. So, uh, what, so besides, like, what do you what do you think about him? Like, you think he's an interesting character? We've got, let's go ahead and get a little spoiler heavy. What did you think about his whole? You know, he's doing this for a reason. What do you think about that? We don't know the reason yet, but I mean, it has to do with his wife apparently. So, what do you think about you that? You know, um, I don't know if it all is for just his wife. I mean, I think there's something else. I think there's other reasons behind it too, like. Like, I definitely don't think that he's wanting, like, doing this just because, like, he's doing this because, you know, someone else is telling him to do this in order for something else to happen. Right, Maybe, okay. like, a surgery with his wife or That's something, That's an interesting you know? point. I never thought of that. So, what do you think about the whole, uh underlining like what do you think about the guy making him do this like it's not just him it's some secretary in the white house or um, vice president I, I think or it's the vice president okay like I, I don't even know but i'm thinking that it's the vice president and he's wanting the president gone because he wants to be president so are there any other characters you like besides uh dylan mcdermott what do you think about tony collette um I She's pretty cool, I yeah. I think that I'm going to probably like her a lot, yeah. too. Yeah, I think my three favorite characters so far is I really like the president. I'm glad he didn't die. Uh, you know, big spoiler right there. Uh, I like the president. I like Dylan McDermott, my favorite. And then I think Tony Collette is my second favorite. Like I said, the president is my third. Uh, those three characters are really interesting. Uh, what do you think about everyone keeping secrets? You got the son with the drugs. You got the daughter pregnant. You got the husband having an affair. I mean, what do you think about everyone? Just uh, everyone's corrupted. <laughs> You know, makes the um, series really complex. And, you know, I, I like know. it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't see this quite as much as twist, twist, because I pretty much caught it pretty quickly. About yeah, like I mean, we were watching it last night, and you caught everything very quickly. It, it caught me off guard. I kind of thought he was involved with drugs, but everything else caught me off guard. Yeah, um, yeah, I kind of spotted it like right away. I was just like, yeah. yeah. She's pregnant. He's cheating. Yeah, it, it's. <laughs> but uh, there's probably a couple more secrets that are hidden that aren't revealed yet. Oh, of course, of I'm course. Thinking, um, so in all, so the in secrets just make the show more interesting. Yeah. So in general, do you like the series? Do you like the pilot? Yeah, like um, there there's a part where um, one of the guys on uh, Dylan McDermott's team. Uh, shows the son his dog, letting him know that the dog's all right, whatever. And Dylan McDermott was like, "Why'd you show him the dog?" And you like and the same? He's like, "I just show him." And he's like, "You can't show them sympathy. You have to show them that we are in charge." Oh, I love Dylan McDermott. Yeah. Like, like I thought that was cool, but then I also thought it was kind of funny because. Like whenever the girl found the right, she was right, pregnant, he contradicts himself. He hid the pregnancy test from the mother. I like Dylan McDermott's character because he's not a bad guy. Like he's doing a bad thing, but he says this quote perfectly. Sometimes you have to do a bad thing for a good reason, and I love how he says yeah. that. You know, I you know I love how one of the favorite thing, the favorite things about the show is how complex the characters are. You know what I mean? Like the characters mm -hmm. are so complex. You know, not you don't just have this one this one noted one sided. It's just a cynical villain. You have this villain that he's not really a villain. 
He's just a good person doing something bad, but he's doing something bad for a good reason. And that makes the show more complex. It makes its characters really complex and actually allows you to feel, feel sympathy for somebody that you normally wouldn't feel sympathy for. Uh, overall, I really like, I think Dylan McDermott's character is definitely the most interesting. Another interesting thing about the show is all the secrets everyone is holding back. And I can't wait. One of the best moments in the series, I can't wait till it happens, it was when all, and when everyone finds out what's going to happen. When, when everybody finds out that the son is involved with drugs and that he lied about the alcohol and the ID thing, when everybody find, when the wife finds out that the husband's having an affair, when they find out that their daughter's pregnant, I mean, that's going to be a huge moment. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a huge moment. It's going to cause some major conflict. Yeah. Guaranteed for that. That's why I can't, I can't wait till that happens. That probably won't happen until roughly, you know, episode seven and eight around that area. But right, you know, here in the next few months, about, you know, a, a month, or, you know, two months from now, once that happens in a particular episode or in multiple episodes, that's going to go, that's that's the point of the series, right? I think it's going to go from being a really good series to a even to an even better series in general because of all those secrets being revealed. Uh, I love the I love the script of, you know, I love how there's, you know, you know, all these people, you know, holding things back. And it's just not Dylan McDermott who's doing this. There's an actually, there's another guy, which I guess, I think it's the, uh, the, the guy he was on the phone with, he looked like I don't like. We, did, we saw him, didn't we? He, yeah, he's the one I think is the vice president because he had a little flag button, and he said everything's aligned in the White House. So you think? So he know he is in the White House somehow, some way. So you think he's that he or not. wants to be president? Maybe that's why he's doing this, or? Um. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that's a good theory. Uh, I think that's a very good theory. Uh. Any expectations on future episodes, or? Uh, just from, like, the, kind of like the overall, I guess, preview of the whole season. Yeah. There's certain names that I saw that I'm It seems, this is a big spoiler, just so you guys know, but apparently, I mean, it's in the promo, so if you saw the promo, it's it's there. It looks like uh, Tony Collette and Dylan McDermott might be, might get infatuated with each other. They looks like they might have an affection for each other so i wonder how that's going to play because why would you grow affection for or get go, you know fall in love with someone that threatens your family so it, i if what the moment that series my mouth is going to be dropped even though i know it's already coming it's still going to affect me in a pretty huge way uh just as it would even if i didn't know about it so uh so your expectations are pretty high pretty good you know yeah, yeah. okay well do you think it'll deliver yeah only time will tell i think it'll deliver also any last words you want to say about it Okay, well, this is Ashes and Centipede, Ge Centipede Geeks review of the CBS television pilot by the name of Hostages. Make sure to stay tuned every, I believe, every Monday night, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock for everyone else. Once again, thanks for watching the video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to our page below, and we'll see you guys later. More videos by Centipede Geek and Ash.